Let's fucking go! We are back from the Ruby two-week hiatus, although, and, or whatever, three-week, whatever it was. I just watched the CCT system Ruby World of Remnant video. Um, I saved it until it was a week later, so I could actually get it on YouTube, because I wanted to watch it right before I watched Volume 3, Chapter 7. One, because I was expecting something a little more relevant to the direct next episode. And two, because I didn't want to watch World of Remnant and then have to wait another week for an actual episode. Then I went on the Rooster Teeth site, saw Cinder smirking at me, because that's the thumbnail, and then I saw the title. Volume 3, Chapter 7, Beginning of the End. The best title? I think so. I have chills. Oh yes. Oh yes. You guys know I have that. I know. Yes. I am rooting for the villains. I'm rooting for Cinder, Emerald, Mercury, which, you know, I've seen a few people think Cinder double-crossed Mercury in episode six. Possibly. We'll have to see. You know, like using a combination of Neo and taking out Yang and taking out, you know, just the Lost Stars aligning. That could be the case. Do I think it is the case? If I had to make a guess, I'm going to say no, but I completely could see Cinder doing that. Because, to be honest, it looked like Mercury threw that fight against Yang and for him to get that close to beating her. And, like I said, he might not have thrown the fight. It felt like he threw the fight, but I could be wrong. Um, regardless, it was pretty cool. And, uh... He, either way, he's a legit fighter just to get Yang that close to beating her. And like I said, and that's considering I think he threw the fight. Because the way he kind of hit his super move and then just walked away, knowing Yang's powers, knowing her semblance, it just didn't... I mean, I'm, I'm sure he does know their semblance. It just didn't seem... Didn't seem like Mercury would make such a, a rookie mistake. So even if... Even if Cinder did double-cross Mercury, the one thing I am fairly confident on is that Yang threw it Merc, Merc sorry Merc through the fight so we'll have to see where Emerald and Mercury go Cinder you know I mean I haven't brought him up in a while um but Adam has to show up sooner or later he's in the intro and if this is beginning of the end White Fang have to make their move the White Fang have to make their move the Grim have to make their move all of Cinder's Forces. She's got Neo, she's got Emerald, she, we assume she has Emerald and Mercury, or at least Emerald, you know, maybe keep Emerald in line, even though I feel like, I feel like if Cinder betrays Mercury, I think she overestimates the fear she invokes into Emerald, because I kind of get the feeling, honestly, I honestly feel like if any ship's ever going to happen in Ruby, it's Emerald and Mercury, and if it does happen, it'll happen as faces, they will probably eventually make a face turn. Whereas Cinder, Neo, and Adam tragically won't. Um, but that's just theories. These are all just theories. I'm kind of talking off my ass because I'm really hyped for this episode. And then I saw the title and I was like, oh, I'm not going to watch it. So we're going to watch it. I'll, anything else I have to, I, that comes to mind, I'll say during the intro. So uh, Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 7. Beginning of the end will commence in 3, 2, 1... And play. Oh, I messed it up. And play. What a fail. After all that build-up, I messed it up. This video presented by the new movie, Laser Team. Get tickets now at laserteamthemovie.com. Stay tuned for more info after this video. Um, I might, I will watch that movie, but probably not until it comes out on, like, Blu-ray or DVD. And, uh, thanks for the info, Barbara, but I probably won't watch it. Maybe it's red like roses, maybe it's a pool of blood. The innocents will lay in when the end you fail to save them. Their dying eyes are wide and white like snow, and now they know the cost of trusting you's obliteration. Mears will shatter, crush the oh. ironwood. Speak of the devil, there's Mr. Adam. Are you going to make an impact on all those white fang, uh, generic white fang dudes behind you? 
It's also kind of ironic that it was Barbara who said that, but then again, she's the one who works, who is the most heavily entrenched in Rooster Teeth, so she would make the most sense if a Ruby character was to say it, but considering Yang's status as the last episode, it's kind of ironic that Barbara was the one who um, said that little ad, considering Yang's probably going to some form of detention, uh, or jail of some, temporary jailing of some sort. R-W-B-Y, Ruby, baby, let's go! I'm hype. The aftermath of episode- strong. A beautiful ring for a beautiful woman. I'm what? sorry. I want to be feared. What? What? Impossible! What did it- What? I want to be powerful. Is that Cinder? Someone call the police! How did she do that? What? How did you do that? Don't is Emerald the illusion? And this is how she Unless found Emerald course, and Mercury. I want them to hear you. What do you want? I've already told you, and I don't like repeating myself. Oh I didn't shit! Do anything. Just leave me alone. I know my fair share of liars and thieves. <laughs> Stealing is an art of patience, coordination, and in a pinch, sleight of hand. But you didn't steal that ring in your pocket. You took it right before the jeweler's eyes. And he smiled. Who are you? What? This is incredible. I did not expect this. Everything you know. Mercury. This is impossible. No, it's Emerald. I wish to take on an apprentice. He lives in the mountains with his son. Who is that? And you'll never be hungry again. Oh. Oh, God. There he is. My boy. My other boy. What are you looking at? I'm looking for Marcus Black. There you go. Oh! That's the assassin? And you're his son. We saw your fight from the tree line. He's taught you well. Yes, so. What's your name? Mercury. Mercury. <laughs> Sasuke. Mercury. Uh, you might as well sit Sasuke. Me, are you anything like your father? No. I'm nothing like him. This is so. What's in it for me? Hi, Sasuke. You need him. Everything was going fine. Ugh. Do oh! not mistake your place. Bitch slapped her. Like always said, if you need to know a city, ask the rats. Well, oh, gorgeous. Roman. <laughs> We're gonna get Roman too. So, let me get this straight. Adam, you could have gone to anyone for help. You could have made a deal with a gang leader, paid off some huntsman that had strayed from their righteous path. But instead, <gasps> you choose to seek an audience with me. Yes! You're the one yes! who you Yes! Strength, your ability to lead those beneath you. You're that an exceptional semblance. man, Adam. And we've put a lot of thought into... Then you're clearly not thinking straight. If you truly understood me, then you would know that coming here was a mistake. The White Fang is not an organization for hire. We are a force of revolution. Interesting. I believe I got a boner. Will be beneficial for all parties involved. <sighs> I have an associate in Vale. He and I are working on a revolution of our own, but we can't he. do it without your forces. He. We need. What you need is to leave. You were asking my men to die for your cause. A human cause. That is not an idea I am willing to entertain. Oh shit, Adam! I, uh... Very well. So how did he- how did she get him? How did she get him? What was that about? <gasps> I knew it! Nothing. <gasps> we need to finish preparing. <gasps> The train will be here at dawn. The train! Black trailer! Black trailer! Oh! I was 
So now what? There's another task we must attend to. A friend of mine. Plan. Exactly as discussed. Not a foot out of place. Nor could it be Raven. No, no. No. Well, wait a minute. That's the only missing piece. Oh, Neo, Neo, I'm stupid, Neo. Duh. I, I, I jumped the gun way too hard. It's gonna be Neo. Uh, or neither? Who do we have here? Yep, that's Neo. That is totally Neo, isn't it? Or is it Emerald? What the f- She's got similar boots to Pyrrha. Oh, it's Amber! Oh my god! It took me that long to process. That's Amber, the Fall Maiden. Oh my god. Guys, this is just- I'm shaking. Neo? An apple. Oh, that's cute. Uh, what is the little girl? I- could it be Neo? Could it be Emerald? God. It... Does that mean the semblance? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Emerald? No, no, it's definitely. So there's the sound effect that we assume is Neo, but. Oh, that's the same. That's the same blocking. That's the same blocking of bullets that Cinder has. She's, that's part of the falling power. Oh, there's her. Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. Mechanical legs. He's got mechanical legs. My mind is just, oh, she went avatar state. I'm sorry, maiden state. We'll call it maiden state. Oh my god, this is literally Avatar State. This is literally Avatar State! And... Oh my god! And here comes the queen. Or we assume the queen. Alright, what's in her semblance? It has to be her semblance. If, she, if that's part of her... Amber's power that she stole. What in the world? And we haven't seen Cinder use fire yet. Oh, freezing its eyes. What's Cinder gonna do? All right. Whoa! Something with like dust and crystals. That was cool. And then the illusions. Yep. Is it Emerald? Or is it Neo? It, it's starting to look like Emerald is actually an illusionist. I don't know. But we haven't seen Neo at all in this, so maybe Neo was in Cinder's back pocket from the beginning. Yeah, this is like a more simple version of... Yeah, Cinder doesn't seem that OP, but... And that was what... Oh, there goes her aura. So she's out of aura now, and that was what... No. What did Cinder do? Oh! Caught her off guard! Oh, Merc... Ooh! Merc got it! Ooh! Oh, even the... Yeah, she's using... It looks like Emerald has the illusion semblance. But Neo has some form of illusion. Unless Emerald was using her illusions on Neo, but then... And maybe Neo was actually just really fast? I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe we've been fooled this whole time and Neo- <gasps> Oh, an arrow to the back! Almost a meme. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a ruby meme. I used to be a maiden, but then I took an arrow to the back. Flamin' Shark 2016. Quote it. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Whoa! What? 
What the hell? Please don't. Oh! Um. One eye. Oh my god. There it is. There it is. It's that thing. Who is it, Crow? <gasps> oh, it's a mark of a maiden. Oh, and she's using that to like to hide her appearance, and then Crow never got a good look at the other two either. They got away. So Crow never got a good look at any of the uh, three, but he knows that it's a female, and that... God damn. The Huntsman severed the connection before it was complete. Yes, it's an emptiness. It burns, like hunger. Raven. I like it. Who are you talking to? Yes. I will claim what is ours. Who are you? Thank There's... You. Thank you. We'll find her, sir. I swear on my life. Forget it. It's time I return to Mistral and... He was gonna return to Mistral, but... What is this? We could have gone to anyone for help, but we chose you, Adam Taurus. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. <laughs> so, which will it be? Damn. Just damn. Yeah, yeah. Yang shall not win. Yang shall. Oh, you did it, sis. There's not going to be a next time, Blondie. Are we gonna get to see what we really saw? Are we gonna get to see what really happened? My leg! My leg! No, we're just gonna get to see Aftermath. Please, somebody help him! He's got a robotic leg. Can you do something? We need to get this boy to a hospital. Grab a blanket. Wait! That looked like a real leg! What the fuck? Does this have to do with Cinder's magic? I don't even know. You don't understand. He attacked me, I swear! Stow it! You've already caused enough of a scene. What the fuck? Here, we've got an ambulance ready to go. Cinder? Was that Cinder? Hope they'll be okay. That girl won't leave his side. We'll take good care of both of them. Hi, Cinder! That's why she left during the Yang versus Mercury fight. Because she needed to impersonate oh, an EMP. Tell me, will I ever walk again? <laughs> He was faking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank God. I called that. I knew that was gonna happen. Well, you all performed marvelously, driver included. <gasps> Hi, Neo. Nice to finally see you again. Now, where are you guys going? You think it worked? A terrible tragedy took place this afternoon during the one-on-one -on -one rounds of the Vital Festival tournament. <laughs> I don't know what Beacon's headmaster is teaching his students, but that was disgraceful. And it makes Ozpin look like a Despite dick. Atlas reinforcements, local authorities are still calling on any available huntsmen to aid in suppressing the spike in grim activity. Yeah, it's working. Hey, I was watching that. Shut up. Is this how you treat a patient? Ow. Are we going to get to meet the... Owl Mercury put on a wonderful show. He was quite brave. These things aren't exactly cheap, you know. So what's next? You and I will ensure that our next matchup goes just as smoothly. You and I, Cinder and Emerald. Me. You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught now, would we? That is true. We can do. That is true. And that's the end of the episode, isn't it? Play that epic music. <laughs> Jessica Nagiri, you killed it. Absolutely killed it. Nice to see some older uh, uh, Merc concept. 
Amber. Juan. Hey everybody, I'm very happy to say that our movie... Uh, no offense to uh, Laser Team and what they're trying to do over Rooster Teeth. I do want to watch the movie. I might even react to it one day. Who knows? But I won't be watching it in theaters and I don't really want to hear anything about it either. Um, now to the matter at hand. Ruby Volume 3, Chapter 7, Beginning the End. So, Endgame has definitely begun. Cinder's Endgame, which is still fairly unknown. Some of it is coming together. Some of it is still up for debate. There's several routes, routes she can go. Oh, this is going to be a long review. Okay, wh where do I start? Emerald backstory, awesome. Mercury backstory, awesome. Adam? Adam is in Ruby for more than five seconds. He's got more than a line. There's a personal reasons why I'm super excited about that. But personal reasons aside, I'm in the show! I'm just kidding. I mean, Adam's basically my character, so... Some of you probably not won't get that reference, but... Yeah. Um... That's definitely his reaction, though. I'm in the show! Yes! <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, seeing Merc and Emerald and kind of how Cinder formed her kind of her team they they did that quote of roman where it's like hello they're gorgeous or whatever for a second obviously it wasn't worth a, f a flashback because it's interesting we heard his voice which is good because that means you know he's probably still going to come back but at the same time they didn't want to reveal him because they were like okay when he comes back we want people to really like have missed him and stuff i get it um because he's debatably the most likable villain, although I'd say Mercury and Emerald are the most likable villains. But I love my Adam and Cinder and Roman as well. Um, this was awesome. And then Neo, and another thing that was interesting is this heavily implied that Emerald has the illusion semblance. Contrary to belief that it was Neo, which is the main theory, which I still kind of want to say Neo has some form of illusion semblance. But maybe it's more similar to what Blake does as opposed to what um, that and then Emerald has illusions. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. And it seemed like it could have been Cinder's magic that have formed the illusions because it kind of, that would make sense. Or it could have been, you know, Mercury and stuff. But it seriously does not seem like Mercury. It really seems like Emerald was the illusion master. Isn't that nuts? Um... It's funny, in my reaction to episode 6, I said it was Emerald or Neo. And thinking about it afterwards, I was like, is it real? Why would it be Emerald? But that <laughs> no, I kind of look pretty smart. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> because they've never shown her much in combat at all. And, you know, a lot of people thought chapter uh, Volume 3, Chapter 4 was the work of Neo. But it very well could have been the work of Emerald. It makes more sense that it was the work of Emerald. So... I'm happy with this. Um, uh, like I said, Adam, uh, Cinder, the Avatar State. Uh, I'm going to be calling it the Avatar State until we get a name for uh, when the, the maidens go maiden powers uh, and, and, you know, become, you know, a maiden, like show off how powerful the maidens are, what they can do. Um, and then the thing that came out of her hand, it was like a little grim that like sucked up the magic and then turned Cinder. And then Cinder got the tattoo from that half of the power of the maiden. And then she was talking to someone. It sounds like she either has a partner who she's on equal footing with or someone above her. I, I'm Raven. I, I'm sorry. I know it sounds crazy, but her, her timing was too coincidental. And remember what she did. Raven used the slash and she got the, she did the, she did the same thing that was seen well, okay, either that or Raven... I, I got the prediction that Raven's a maiden. Because that thing that happened was like Raven... I think Raven and Cinder are both maidens. And Raven and Cinder... Or, well, Cinder's a half-maiden now, is what I mean. But I mean, like, Raven, I think one is a maiden. And two is either the other villain. Or she's undercover or something. 
Raven has something to do with all this. Raven is in this somehow. And I think they, they, it was almost confirmed when you saw that thing where Cinder did that. And you think about why did Raven disappear shortly? Why did Ra Okay, Raven's not a villain. I take that back. But Raven disappeared shortly after Yang was born. Why? Because she was a maiden. So they needed to hide her. Just like Amber. And that kind of takes away the theory that Summer and consequently Ruby are maidens. But it pretty much confirms that Raven is in fact a maiden. And that whole Slash thing makes sense. Holy shit. Well, I just... Figured out a lot by myself. Um, I could probably keep going for a while, but I figured this is plenty enough. And, you know, that just talking about Raven, I made the connection from Volume 2, Chapter 11 with Raven. And I figured out, okay, Raven is a maiden. I can almost guarantee you now, Raven is a maiden. And that explains why she left Yang and Tai Yang. It makes sense. Opening the door for Tai Yang to fall in love with Summer instead. And have Ruby and, yeah. Um, I still kind of want to say Summer was a maiden too, and that power is in Ruby. I mean, that would account for three of the four uh, maidens. Um, just guessing that Summer, Summer maiden, why not? And then, you know, Raven can be the, you know, the spring maiden or whatever, maybe the winter maiden, whatever. But, you know, and, and that, that's really cool on that idea. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on, and despite this being almost entirely a flashback episode it was amazing so good you gotta love character development you gotta love backstory done right done so freaking right it's all relevant to just so good and mercury did not get hurt it was in fact you know all work so there you go i predicted that i expected that i i'm happy about that too i'm kind of happy he's still a villain um, and didn't get double-crossed by Cinder. But anyways, this was a great episode. I loved it. This might have been better than Fall. I don't know if it was better than Fall or not. Personally, I think it's way better than Fall. But it catered. It was a villain episode. It was villain-centric. It focused on all the villains. It had no focus on the heroes. It was all about the villains. Beginning of the end. And it was amazing. And this is the beginning of the end of Cinder's Endgame. And we got five more episodes to see how it turns out. I'm loving it. You, I know you guys are loving it because you guys are freaking out over this episode just like episode six. And I can see why. Anyways, Flame and Shark sign out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.